What's up guys, it's Cancer here, and today I'm going to be bringing you an Ultimate Team video. There's two games in this video um, that I played a few days ago. They're not the best, but I thought I'd show you every single game I play in Ultimate Team, so you can follow how many games I've won, and you can follow how my team's progressing, and what players I've bought and stuff. So I get put up against this guy, who... Let's see... He's got a Premiership side here. Yeah, he's got a Premiership side. With a few Silvers, Kovac, centre defensive mid for West Ham, and a random left back. But as you can see, he's got quite a strong side. Not the strongest right enough, but it's quite strong. And in these videos, I'm just going to show all of my goals so that it's not boring for you guys if not get unnecessary gameplay. So right off the bat, I play a nice through ball through to Andrew Driver, who's got blistering pace. And Camo finishes it with his weaker foot. Driver's a key player on my team. He's got the pace that can exploit the opposition's defence and he's really useful for counter attacks. And here again, I put a nice through ball to Kenny Miller and keeper saves. But here's Driver on the nice little turn in the edge of the box. Skips past one and plays in the Ferguson. Camo slots it away. And my goals aren't the best in these games, but. I like to get some flare goals with some skill moves and some long range goals so you can expect that sort of stuff in the future. But that was a pretty simple finish. Now, I was drawn with this guy, he brought two goals back, but I stuck at it and in the 85th minute I just a come back with a <coughs> nice goal from Charlie Adam, which is what you come to expect to have him in real life. Long range shots like that, but he managed to pull it off here. He powered in a bottom right hand corner with. I think that's Muller just jumping out of the way there. But the videos that you're going to expect from the future is pack opening videos, I'm going to be uploading some nice goals, I'll be doing some commentaries like this. And I'll try and get a little bit of variety going. But as you can see, I finish this match 3 2. Pretty comfortable win in the end. The guy never had much shots in target. I outplayed him the full game, but he got two pretty lucky goals, if I'm being honest. So I've gone to another game here. I've changed my squad a bit. I've brought a Stephen Fletcher up front. And I've changed my kits about. And this guy's got a totally random side and as you can see he's playing a centre attack of mid and centre back so that wouldn't have helped him that a lot but right at the start here 16 minutes in now driver again gets involved wins the ball and Camoy cuts it back to Kenny Miller who's coming in at the back post to in the end makes it an easy finish so the first goal in 18 minutes and I'll be honest with you this guy wasn't that much of a player. I mean, I dominated him the most of the match, but yeah, here I've got a corner which I was unlucky with, and I won an R corner. And after that, I whipped in a ball to Mark Reynolds, who's actually a silver centre back, but he managed to leap up and nod one in the back of it. He's one of the best silvers in the game I'd say. His stats don't really show it but when you're looking at him playing defensively you can't tell much difference between him and Caldwell who's an informed gold. And right here, straight after kick off, this guy makes a stupid mistake and I run through with Fletcher who's not the slowest player himself but I think this guy's using a poor defender there. Cut inside, way off to Miller who's got another easy tap in for the second, third of the game sorry. And as you can see, at this point, the guys must be getting annoyed. And to be honest, I'm getting pretty cheap goals on them, cutting it back and irritating them, which I'd, I'm not the biggest fan of cutting the ball back, but sometimes you're better to do it if you want to win the games. And here, good bit of strength from Fletcher. Plays it to another Fletcher, Darling this time. He whips in a ball and Kenny Miller peels the weight back post to win the header. And at this point, the game's pretty much over. And I think you can see here this guy decides to leave. Which, guys, if you're playing me and I'm beating you, please don't leave. And same with Endels, it's just poor. 
So that's the end of the video guys. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Thank you.